I know it's been a while, but I promise you that I will be back with the updated video on what exactly to do when you bring the baby home. So let's get right into the video. Say hey, Harris. Hi, everybody. Mm -hmm. Um, what happened? We brought the baby home, and this is this video disclaimer. This video is for the women who wants to be a little more prepared, um, who have done a little bit of research, but need some, what's that word, a, a, a personal experience. So this is our personal experience. So when I brought the baby home, me and my husband, shout out to my husband, what's up, boo, mm -hmm. and baby daddy, <laughs> and husband and baby daddy, okay. Um, sorry, Chunks. We were I thought we would be perfectly fine like I was like oh yeah we'll get some sleep blah 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 <laughs> lies okay we got home and I could not sleep well I constantly have to wake up the first week let me try let me try to get this done in order because so much has happened the first week my husband was here um, it was easy to navigate the waters uh, it was still hard because I was exclusively breastfeeding. Um, breastfeeding was very difficult. It was very challenging. I almost wanted to give up. I swear to you, I almost gave up. And I was struggling with that, breastfeeding, and also dealing with my tears, dealing with, well, it was minimal tears, but they hurt. You know, you get slits in your vagina, they will hurt. Um, wearing pads, you know, having body issues you know additional blood coming out oh this is a rated x video by the way <laughs> having blood come out you know monitoring the clots that come out of my my area uh making sure i don't have to go back to the emergency room or to the the, the doctor's office <sighs> making sure the baby was okay there's multiple times we went to the emergency room because we thought something was wrong with her come to find out nothing was wrong with her within the first two weeks we went to the emergency emergency room twice <laughs> um nothing was wrong with the baby okay she's just feeding and growing and there were some discomforts also during the same time i was not getting any sleep my husband he got a little bit of sleep but he would go to work he started going to work after his week was over and I was home 24 7 with the baby when she slept I didn't necessarily want to sleep my body didn't want me to sleep I tried and I would just lay there trying to sleep even though they say sleep with the baby it doesn't always work so I tried that that didn't work and I was I still feed the baby exclusively okay um, I had by that time I had sore nipple pain I was my body needed to make adjustments I was tired I was not I wasn't as miserable as I was as I was the way I when I was pregnant but having the baby bringing the baby home was definitely challenging because of lack of sleep because of nipple pain because of breastfeeding because of you know vaginal issues you know what i mean you can't get in a shower for a couple of days or you got to take a bath and whatnot the list goes on and on but i've already mentioned everything to you so i guess that's the end of the list <laughs> so what i guess i'm trying to say to you is that you want to prepare yourself mentally you know what I mean? You want to say, okay, I'm not going to get any sleep. Do I have family who can come over and help me with the baby? Do I have friends who can come over and watch the baby nap? Do I have, can my husband take a few extra days or my boyfriend or whoever can take a few day, extra days off of work so that, you know, I can get some rest. I can be 110% available to my baby when she needs me versus this is, this is my attitude was, is, oh my God, the baby's hungry again. Oh my God, she wants to eat again. You know, I was just dealing with so much in my body. I just didn't want to deal. I knew I had to, but I didn't want to. And so it got to a point where I always felt like I was rushed to do things. I felt like I was sneaking around to do things. And, and ultimately that led to me having uh, postpartum anxiety. The doctor said that that goes away after you work out 
and at my six month checkup they said just you know try working out just to try to relax use some relaxed techniques and so that's what I've been doing and it's been working out fairly well so I'm doing well the baby's doing well we still don't get much sleep but you know things are looking up things are getting much better we have a lot more fun now you know I enjoy having my baby a lot now and she's going and she's five months today and she's going into her six months and I'm looking forward to that because they say she'll get more sleep I'll get more sleep she'll be breastfed less and I'll be a happy mommy so good luck to any woman out there who is pregnant who is bringing their baby home and who doesn't have help or who has minimum help and need to get some breasts need to you know just just take care of her body you know what i mean mom if the doctor says stay in bed take care of yourself be sure to do that because it's very important to you to the mental health of for you for your baby and for your entire family um any advice on how to do that just relax you know what google relaxing techniques learn how to do that now i'll in i'll insert the link to my relaxing video down below and hopefully that helps you so much guys and if anybody else has input please let me know let us know don't be afraid to share we really i really appreciate any new information that i get until next time we are out this joint but please be sure to check out my brother's youtube video bake chronicles Yes, we're featured in the we're featured in some of his videos, but you know, it's, he is going through a lot of challenges right now and he wants to show you how he overcomes them. Until next time, 